I'm Joanne Morton and I'm with the Pacific Stream Keepers Federation. Our group has the, the privilege of being able to work with the stream keepers from across British Columbia. Stream keepers are people who kind of take the stream keepers program to heart. There's a handbook and modules that show you all different ways to protect and preserve your streams. And we get to help those people do just that task and it's great fun. Today though I want to talk about how maybe we can involve you folks in some of the work that we do. In the past, a lot of changes have happened in the urban environment. Here we are at Hastings Creek in North Vancouver, and as you can see, the natural setting has been uh, rejigged a little bit by past efforts of uh, engineers. So here's an opportunity for the next generation of engineers to take into consideration the natural environment, the way it works, how nature works, how the community works, and how the two of those can kind of fit together. We can have people in an environment and still have the ability to, for fish to get from point A to point B. One of the things I'd like your group to take a peek at is this fish ladder that's in behind me. And the whole purpose of it is to get past an obstruction that was put in a long time ago. There's a cement apron and the fish are unable to swim up over it. So this fish ladder allows them to go through where the majority of the water goes to one side, goes through the ladder, and the fish can get up from point A to point B. But how it works is kind of a bit of a mystery. And what I think would be neat is if your group was able to put together a model, like a plexiglass model, that maybe recirculates um, using an aquarium pump that shows how the baffles and the fish ladder actually slow the water down. How it makes it easier for the fish to be able to go up from point A to point B. And we can take this model and show it at volunteer community events for salmon enhancement people, for stream keepers. We can take it to community halls so that the rest of the community can see the magic of these ladders, how they work, what happens here. There's a few different models of fish ladders, but maybe if you take one or two and make uh, smaller models that we can pack around with us. As you can see, this one's firmly uh, bolted to the stream. So if we could have little ones to pack around with us, we would then take that and take it into community to show how these work. We're at a time in history where community and engineers are working together when we're looking at the past and ways that we can kind of change things that happened before and looking to the future to see how nature and human infrastructure can be harmonized how both can work together where one doesn't outcompete the other. It's that time in history and it's an exciting time to be around. Under the same project umbrella, some of you might want to take part in it in something a little bit different. And here we have the book of tip sheets for sound enhancement projects and this is a really old book with some really even older ideas in it. But boy, sometimes those ideas of the past really need to resurface. And I thought maybe you folks would be the ones to do that. And here are some tips and ideas of how to do things on the cheap and dirty. And that's exactly how most of the salmon enhancement and stream keeper projects are run. So here we have something. It's an automatic fish food feeder. And many of the salmon enhancement projects, they keep their fish long enough that they need to feed them, that we need to feed them on a regular basis and over the full 12 hours that the sun shines. I don't want to be there 12 hours a day. My friends don't want to be there 12 hours a day. But this fish food feeder could be there 12 hours a day feeding the fish. The feeders that we have at this time are really low tech, but really expensive. It's quite surprising how expensive they are. There's not really a big audience for it, so the market's not that big. But these, if you guys could help us and maybe build a couple of these, show that they work, we could highlight these. We could take video of them and put them online. And again, we could take these out to the community events where stream keepers and salmon enhancement folks gather and show them how they can be in charge of making their own fish food feeders. Again, looking forward to working with you.